in the Bible, Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16, Yohani, Timmy and Sam, in Chichemu Dunsia, I say, Sano Yanko Pondo, we are singing. So the Nubo won't crow no my. No better or geno geno, I'm Yerano and your damn quam. day to you wherever you are in the world. <coughs> I remain your G, Arenga. Let me go by saying good morning to you, good afternoon, good evening wherever you are in the world. Today, I'm still in Ede, life and direct in Ede, and coincidentally, I happen to come across our daddy, our father in the Lord. Yes, he's going to introduce himself to you, but I call him Babangana. Yes, Babangana. So we met him here at the Palace of Drum, Afilu. So now, over to Daddy. Daddy, please, can you tell us your name, sir? By the grace of God, my names are Pastor Dr. Johannes Adeniji Adegbemi. So, Daddy, um, what connection do you have with Ghana? Well, to the glory of God, uh, my father was a successful general merchant in Ghana, and uh, I was born there uh, in a town called KJB Vocha region in Ghana. Hmm. So, um, how many years are we talking about now? The, uh, because now I'm meeting you here now in Ede. That's right. So, when did you come back to Nigeria and settle down in Ede? Well, by the grace of God, uh, I was in Ghana from precisely from 1953 to January, uh, to December 1969. And uh, uh, first week, in January 1970, I came back to Nigeria with my dad, though ill, I took ill at that time, and we got to a day in January 1970. Can you hear that? Was I even born in 1970? That's an assignment for you. <laughs> so, um, daddy, do you still, do you understand, do you know how to speak uh, Ghanaian language? I do very well. Uh, because of time constraint, I will have gone and gone because I'm more or less like a historian. But in our class, when I was in the primary school, we were uh, we used to uh, teach vernacular. They used to teach us vernacular very well, which we call Chi. Chi, that's a major language in Ghana, Chi Akan. So uh, we were four class leaders. Uh, we, we are four class leaders. Uh, we two Yoruba boys were a class leader, even teaching Ghanaians their own language, tree language. And I even have a, a Ghana a tree language Bible, which during that time of free education of Dr. Osajifu, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, that, was, that we were given free. So I still have it up to now. And I can even recite the golden verse, the golden verse of the Bible there, which is Gospel of St. John chapter 3, verse 16. If you give me the go ahead to go ahead, sir. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a we call it the Bible, uh, the new uh, the old testament is Apam Didao, and the new testament is Apam Fufro. But in the Bible, Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16, Yohani, Timmy and Saint, in Chichemu Dunsia, I'll say, Sano Yanko Pondo, we are singing, Sio, the Nubo, I won't crow no my. 
no be ara oje no de no an yira no anya dan kwa me da se ya men shop wow can you hear that can you hear how fluent our uh, daddy is oh my god how i wish i've been to ghana i'm sure some of you that have been watching my videos you know that yes i'm also part of you and uh, like i always used to say that ghana is my second home i love ghana a lot and if you are a ghanian and you are watching this video please don't skip it to yourself huh give this video a giant thumbs up do you understand that means you should like and if you are yet to subscribe to arenga tv do so now subscription is free just press the subscribe button and turn on all post notifications do you understand share this video this is arenga live and direct in Ede with a daddy that i call baba Ghana. so daddy um do you have any experience that you want to share with us while in ghana well uh what i would just say is just as you have rightly said that Ghana is your second home. Uh, uh, it's a, I, mean, I, I would also say the same thing, but it's even an understatement. Hmm. Ghana is a wonderful country. Not worse, it's still a wonderful country. Because I know that Ghana might be smaller in size to Nigeria, but Ghana is always ahead. I remember that uh, Ghana started the Desma money, Sidi and Pesua, before Nigeria also uh, started using Naira and Kobo. Ghana started right hand drive before Nigeria also uh, changed. And also, I remember that uh, even Ghana got its independence in on uh, 5th March 1957. Yes, Why that Nigeria, Nigeria is 1960. 1960. So, and I think they are, they, I mean, they are like mind. Even with the leaders, I used to know. Uh, the, the president then, the first executive president of Ghana, uh, Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, uh, was a, a friend uh, with uh, our late uh, uh, father, uh, that's uh, uh, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, even with Pat, uh, Dr. Patrice Lumumba. So uh, I, I realized that when Ghana started free education, it was not long that Nigeria also in Western region then, uh, led by Chief Obafemi Awolowo, started you know, free education, which even most of our leaders today, they enjoyed. So I thank God for their very good, you know, uh, friends or, or partner. So Ghana is wonderful. So Baba, Akwaba. I see. Ah, uh, I see. What does that mean, Baba? <laughs> uh, uh, that means I said, you are welcome to that may the good Lord bless you abundantly in jesus name amen how do you say amen in uh, ghana language is it the same same amen about uh, you see the about in jesus uh, we will say uh, jesus christ and yoruba will say uh, jesus christi mm. and we will say in few languages jesus christo jesus christo Ye, why jesus christo can you hear that so uh let me not because uh, we just uh, caught uh, our daddy on our way is an impromptu something we will definitely have a fine time to meet daddy again so let me know what you feel about uh, uh, this uh, video please share this video let it go around let it go around thank you daddy thank you so much well, we are we, we are highly honored to have you here so till i come your way with another wonderful and interesting video i say bye bye and uh oh double catch ya.